Hey everybody, it's Inktober. Actually, Inktober almost over. It's catch. So I did do a little bit of brainstorming, uh, not as much, don't have it in this video, but um, I did some research on the internet and I was trying to find a trap that one might be caught in. And um, I was first thinking like a cage, like a live trap, uh, you know, like the, the kind that you catch like a raccoon or something in and you can re-release it in the wild or whatever. But uh, then I came across the like bear trap, the I think that's what it's called, like a the iron jaw. And I thought, oh, that's what I want to do. I want to do one of those. So I started drawing one. Uh, but when I started drawing it, I didn't really like measure out my space like I normally do. Or at least I think I normally do that. Uh, and so the trap ended up being, so, or the whole image ended up being so big, which is good. It's usually a really good thing to have a really big, to draw big and all that. But it was just so big, I knew that not enough of it was going to fit on the paper to make sense. So I started it all the way over. Have you ever done a drawing and uh, you knew you needed to start over, but you didn't really want to because you worked so hard on the drawing to begin with? Well, if you know you need to start over, just go ahead and start over. Don't beat around the bush. Just start over. So that's kind of what I did. Uh, somewhere in there, my camera died on me. My phone died on me. And I lost a whole bunch of, bunch of footage. But just trust me. I redid the drawing. You can see it right there in front of you. And then I started uh, inking it in. I erased it real good because my pencil was real dark. So I erased it a little bit so it didn't interfere with the ink. And then I just went in and started outlining everything with a pen. Um, one of the things that I've kind of learned over the years is if you're not really sure what to do, just start with what you know. And the rest of it will kind of come to you as you're working. Uh, one of my favorite artists is Chuck Close. Actually, I can't really say that he's my favorite artist. You know, I mean, he's really good. He's really talented. Um really worth mentioning if you don't know Chuck Close look up Chuck Close but he is um, he's real famous and he is known for this particular quote which I can't I don't have memorized I don't have it in front of me but basically he says in the quote that ideas come out of the work itself all right so if you want to come up with some really good ideas then just start working start drawing and the best way to start drawing I think is to start with what you know okay so if you know how to draw the skull, start with the skull. Or if you know how to draw, um, I don't know, you, you'll know what I'm talking about when it happens to you. Uh, the other thing is, in this particular picture, my skull is completely upside down. Uh, kind of worked out good, having a, the trap on the bottom and then the skull upside down so it can clamp onto the top of his head. Um, but the, the whole skull would not fit in the trap. Um, visually so it's kind of cracked in the back there and, and half of the skull is missing uh, that's all right I guess kind of you know that's what's gonna happen if a giant bear trap latches onto the top of your head it's gonna break your skull open anyway um, so but because it was upside down the light was hitting it completely different you see the light on the tops uh, top of the eyes there kind of uh, and most of the skull is in shadow, so there was just a lot of hatching. Uh, also, I kind of did this at the last minute, trying to squeeze it in and stay caught up with Inktober. And so I really didn't finish the skull out as good as I would have liked. But here it is, for better or for worse. This is my Inktober day 30, I think, for Catch. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe share tell a friend about my channel tell a friend if you like my channel share it with a friend for me and uh, between now and then go make some art